Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel The Informant. If someone is new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to online services, placement drives, education and many more. In this video, we will be sharing an important information about how to fill e-nomination in the EPFO portal. And this video will be helpful for all the employees, those who are working in any company like TCS, Cognizant, Wipro, Infosys, Accenture. And uh, recently Cognizant started sending mail for e-nomination filling. So this will be helpful for Cognizant employees also. And uh, PF is compulsory for all the employees, those who are working in any company because everyone will get PF. So in this video, I will be telling each and every detail like how to fill e-nomination, where you can get UAN number, every detail will be covered. So watch the video till the end so that you don't miss any important information regarding this video. So let us start our video. So before starting our video, let us see what and all uh, we should keep in our mind. Activate UAN. So um, before filling e-nomination, you have to activate your UAN. Log into universal account number member portal using your credentials. So you have to log in uh, uh, e-nomination by using your UAN number and uh, your uh, password. Ensure your other number is demographically verified with UAN. So your other should be verified with uh, your universal account number and ensure your profile information in UAN are updated including your photo, address, qualification, martial status, etc. So while filling your e-nomination, so you have to see whether your photo, address, qualification, martial status, everything are updated. So this is uh, compulsory. Keep your other number, bank account number, IFSC code and photograph of the family members handy because you have to fill some important information like other number, bank account number. So before uh, filling, try to keep these documents so that it will be helpful while filling. So let us see how you can uh, log in uh, in e-nomination. Each and every detail uh, will be shown with uh, PPT and uh, I, will be try I will be trying to show the website also. So don't try to skip anything because you will not understand so let us see so this is how the epfo portal will look so if you don't get this epfo for portal i will be providing link in the description you can go to our description by clicking that this page will get open so as you all can see that uh, here uh, they are asking uan and password and captcha so everyone has doubted uh, where to get UAN. So UAN is nothing but like if you get a salary in your salary slip, uh, the, this UAN number will be there. So you can uh, see your salary slip and uh, you can uh, enter your UAN. So uh, when you can fill this EPFO, so when you will get one month salary, then only you can fill because cogn uh, cognizant uh, members, those who have joined recently, uh, they got mail recently so they can't fill because they should get a salary slip so after getting a salary slip only they will get UAN number so wait till you, uh, you get your first month salary then you can fill then uh, your UAN password and captcha uh, so if you want to reset your password also you can uh, reset this option is also there so the first step is to activate UAN so as you can see that your activate UAN uh, link is there so if you click on activate UAN uh, this page will get uh, open so here you can see first option is UAN so you have to enter your universal account number which is there which will be there in salary slip your uh, other, other number your name your date of birth and the mobile number so the mobile number you have to enter which is linked with other number so if you have given your uh, father's number or a mother's number you have to enter that number because you will get OTP in that if you give your um, mobile number which is not linked with other you will not get any OTP because so many people are doing mistake because what they have given to their organization that only they are putting no here what is linked with other that you have to give so this is very important be careful while giving mobile number then you have to enter, uh, enter captcha then you have to check this box and then you have to click on get authorization pin so you will get OTP after that you have to enter OTP and then submit so after that submitting you will get one page so this page will get open as you can see that home uh, view manage account online services so if you click on view 
you can see this uh, pop-up window profile service history UN card uh, passbook so second step was to update your uh, address bank uh, your personal details everything so photo so see you have to uh, uh, you, uh, upload your photo you can browse your photo and you have to insert your photo within that circle uh, and they have given some uh, rules and regulation which photo you have to update uh, you can read that so after that personal information this is very important your name date of birth gender your uh, father's name relation everything will be auto entered and uh, if you want to do any changes uh, you can see this uh, pencil mark uh, you can edit if you want then uh, address and uh, address also you can change uh, if your permanent address is same with the current address you can click uh, you can check the box and then you can submit uh, because uh, as you all know that to fill this e-nomination form this address profile photo everything should be proper then only you will get your PF then after that uh, main thing e-nomination so if you go to manage you will get this basic details contact details KYC e-nomination mark exit so you have to click on e-nomination uh, then if you click on e-nomination uh, your profile will get open there uh, you will get your UAN number name date of birth uh, I have uh, hide it because it is uh, against company policy your uh, father's name uh, your martial status present address uh, current address uh, date of join joining date of joining uh, EPS scheme that everything will be auto entered and you can uh, change your martial status also as uh, as I showed uh, in before slide you can uh, click on that pencil mark and then uh, you can uh, change your uh, martial status also if you have worked for more than four to five years and now uh, you got married then you can change uh, then after that uh, this page will get open having family yes or no so everyone has family so if you click on yes they will ask you to enter the details uh, so uh, if you are entering your father details so you have to click on uh, relation on uh, so you have to select relation as father or if you are uh, giving a, a relation of your mother so you have to enter all your uh, mother details or father details like other number name your father's name date of birth gender relation address and a photo then after that EPF nomination so you have to uh, save all the details and you have to come to next page EPF nomination is uh, employee provident fund so again you have to just select that everything will be auto entered and total amount of share percent uh, like example if you have given only your father's uh, detail so you can directly put 100% if you have given your mother details also you, you can share uh, equal 50 50 so then you have to save EPF uh, nomination then EPS nomination employee pension scheme there also what uh, other details will, will be uh, given above that uh, that only will be auto uh, take auto taken and then uh, address relation gender date of birth name everything will be same then again say uh, save EPS nomination then you can see uh, your time your date everything will be shown in that nomination entry time then you can uh, you can view your uh, application you can edit your application uh, e-sign delete if you want to delete also you can delete main thing is you have to e-sign your application so if you click on e-sign this uh, page will get open so you have to click that box if you click on that box uh, it will show it will ask your other number uh, so you have to uh, enter your other number then you have to click on get OTP so you will get the OTP which is uh, linked uh, with uh, this other number uh, so after getting your OTP then you have to submit see like this you will get OTP you have to give OTP and you have to check the box and then you have to send after uh, submission uh, after uh, filling everything it will show nomination successful nomination details nomination date and time everything will be shown so this is how you will fill uh, e-nomination form 
so if you have any doubt how to fill e nomination form and if you are getting any problems while filling this e, e nomination form uh, you can uh, drop down in the comment box so that we can clear your doubt and try to sh uh, share this video as much as possible because this is very important as you all know that everyone will get pf so some people will get thousand two thousand it's depend upon companies so this is very important every time you have to fill this to get your pf so try to share this video as much as possible so that everyone can uh, get help and uh, uh, if you uh, have any doubt you can comment in the comment box we will try to clear as much as possible so this video has become little bit lengthy because uh, uh, every information was very very important uh, so uh, please uh, try to adjust it and if you have any doubt try to uh, contact us uh, through uh, telegram also uh, and uh, you can comment in comment box so thank you for watching our video if you feel our content informative please do like subscribe share and stay tuned